What's up, family? Welcome back to my channel. If you want to join my family, you just gotta click subscribe. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm Today I need to tell y'all something. Of course, it's gonna be a story. Do I need to put, let me know below, for real, for real. Do I need to put story time in the title all the time? Like if I didn't put story time in the title, would y'all not click it because it doesn't say story time? But anyways, I'm gonna tell y'all this story. It's so weird and it hasn't even ended yet. I don't even know what to do or how to go about it. So that's one reason why I'm making this video because maybe y'all can help us with the out. Cause this is getting a little, before I tell this story, I want to make a, a few announcements just to keep everybody up to date, just to keep everybody in the loop. So, uh, your girl did just have a birthday. My birthday was actually yesterday, the 30th. Thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday, and thank you to everyone that's probably going to be wishing me a belated happy birthday in the comments. Thank you. Your girl's getting old, okay? I'm getting up there. I'm definitely getting up there. So if you see me popping out babies or, you know, settling down, you'll know that you know it. it's just time. Another thing I want you guys to know is that I posted two videos, I think back to back. Like a few days ago, I went to go get my nails done and I took y'all along with me. So if you haven't watched that, it's going to be in the card section or down below. I think before that video, I basically exposed my uh, past tweets. Uh... <laughs> That's gonna be in the card section or down below. So now that we're in the month of October, the scary month, the spooky month, Halloween is coming up. I plan to dig into the scary part of my life, the crazy, creepy part of my life. Anything creepy, weird, out of the ordinary that I kind of just burst off my shoulders, I think I'm going to share them with you guys because I feel like I'm not as open-minded when it comes down to like creepy things and all that because I just don't want to, I don't want to think so hard about it. Y'all may have more of an insight on it or something. Okay, I was sitting down, I was editing a video and um, I use AirDrop a lot. Let me know if you are familiar with AirDrop. Any type of Apple device, I'm pretty sure you would be familiar with um, AirDrop. Pretty dope, it's very, very convenient. I use it a whole lot when I'm editing and all of that type of stuff. But basically, um, you can send pictures to your friends, whoever's near. Whoever is near you that has the um, AirDrop on, you can send them pictures even to people you don't know without them having your number. You know, people don't even need to know your number or anything about you or your name. You can be anonymous and still send people things. So now that y'all know what AirDrop is and how it works, I was editing a video. I was also using AirDrop to edit the video. So there was a picture on my phone that I wanted to send to my computer. Now, whenever I'm sending a picture to my computer, usually my computer is the first one that pops up like the little circle part. That's something I was always used to. I didn't always see people's names on there me being the person I am kind of impatient always rushing always just so quick to do something I kind of I blame myself a little bit just a little bit because I kind of started this all right I'm not gonna blame myself fully for it but it was an accident so I accidentally um, sent the picture to someone's device not to me but to someone else and thank God it was just a regular cute picture nothing to like embarrassing it was a cute selfie okay but i sent it to a guy it feels a little uncomfortable saying that name because i don't know if it's one of my neighbors someone across the hall i have no clue but it said rico that's who i sent the selfie to if you have airdrop you know that airdrop is fast that thing don't wait for nobody you make a mistake you make a mistake if you send in a video then it'll probably kind of like load up but if you're sending a picture that thing gonna ah. load and i tried my best to stop it from sending but no it said sent you feel a little bit weird because i don't want anyone to think that i'm thirsty or that i'm trying to get someone's attention. What if Rico has a wife? What if he has a girlfriend? What if, what if Rico is like a, I don't know, 50 year old man? I didn't want to stress out about it and I was just kind of like, well, whatever, it was an accident. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I just sent the picture to myself this time and all I did was just continue to do what I've been doing, thinking nothing of it. 20 minutes later. Really, nigga? I don't know where I hear my phone. I hear my phone and y'all Rico sent me a picture. And uh, for the sake of not trying to be demonetized, um, an inappropriate, an inappropriate picture. His face was not in it, 
But um, I was just like, man, he's probably sending this. Cause you know how guys are. We guys out here just, they just like that. They don't give you a, hey, they don't even give you a selfie nowadays. They just put it on out there. But I knew he was probably sending it because I sent like a cute selfie. So he was just probably like, ooh, okay, she, she want it. Let me show her what I'm working with. So that's probably why he sent it, which still isn't a good reason to send it. Like why do, why do guys do that? It's not cute. That's not cute. The fact that Rico only sent that and didn't actually send his face lets me know that, you know what, that's probably all what he has to offer. And Trinity need more than that, okay? But to keep it real, it did make me feel uncomfortable because I like to be to myself. Especially when I'm in my apartment, I'm polite. I say hey to people. I'd rather not build relationships with people around my apartment because you know, y'all know what I've been through. I got trust issues. I don't know where people's mental state is. They can be crazy. I'll say hey to you, but I'm not about to let you in my apartment. I ain't trying to be rude, but I'm just that way. Like this one girl, she was getting a tour around the apartment and I was already in the office picking up a package. She was thinking about moving there. She was a nice girl and everything and she wanted to know, oh, how do you like it here? And I said, oh, I love it here. It's great. You know, and she kind of wanted to keep the conversation going. I didn't just cut her off, but I kind of just grabbed my package and kind of left. I don't know what it is. I just don't want to build relationships around people that I live near because <sighs> y'all, I just don't trust people after just meeting them one time. At this point, I really have to know you. That's just me, that's how I'm doing this, just for the sake of me wanting to feel safe. But receiving that picture really did it did bother me because I'm like, dang, I actually sent my face. I don't know his face, but he knows my face. I don't need him thinking anything about me like, oh, that's the girl that sent me that selfie. She interested and all that. No, uh-uh, no, no. And I'm interested in someone currently. So that's it. Trinity already kind of, you know, settling down. So I don't need Rico thinking something that he shouldn't be thinking. So after he sent the picture and, and just all of that, I didn't say anything back. I didn't send no pictures back, no nothing, because sometimes it's better to just stay quiet. Don't say anything, don't respond back, and that will probably let him know, okay, maybe she didn't mean this in the picture. That's what I'm thinking, like, just don't say anything at all because you don't really care to respond to this. I mean, you all right, you all right, Rico, but um, mm -mm. we not doing that. And I don't respond well to those type of things anyway, in general. I'm not about that life. I don't be out here thotting and bopping. Okay, that's not me. So I did end up just kind of like brushing it off, like, eh, whatever. Um, no pictures were sent for the rest of that day. Whenever I'm dealing with airdrop, whenever I'm done with that, I usually just turn it off because I don't really need it. Like, maybe a few days later, I'm walking outside just to my car, and I see this guy. He's light-skinned, he looks got the same complexion as uh, Rico. Rico is light-skinned. And I was so uncomfortable because, oh, you're just thinking like, oh my gosh, is that him? And he did look at me from afar, because this was like from afar. So I'm in my car and I'm turning out and I had to pass him to leave, y'all. As I'm leaving, he waves at me and I didn't even wave back, y'all. I just kept it moving because I did not know if he was Rico or not. It was just so weird. And I was so bummed out because I'm just like, why did you accidentally send that picture? Why? I kind of started it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to. Y'all got to be careful with this airdrop. I don't want this to happen to y'all where y'all send something that you probably don't really want to send to someone that you don't even know and they can save the picture. <laughs> they can save the picture in the video and that's just creepy, man. So I don't know what's gonna come out of this situation. Um, it's just really uncomfortable. I don't even know how to go about it. I know just to be careful with airdrop and I'm just hoping that it doesn't come back to bite me. So please let me know below is, I feel like I could change the settings. Wait, I don't even know. At this point, what's done is done. Um, I'm just hoping that nothing more comes out of this. I want this to end. I don't ever want to see Rico, even if he does see my face. But the worst part about this, I don't know if Rico stays on this side, if he stays on that side, if he's like living across the hall. I don't know the range of airdrop, like how far can this thing go? I think I'm at a point now to where I'm probably gonna do a lot of research after this video. I need answers. I need to know more about AirDrop and how it works. Technology is crazy, y'all. It's great, but at the same time, it's scary because, I mean, people can just send you 
videos and pictures and you don't even have to have their number or email or know who they are so that's it make sure to comment below just your thoughts your opinion all that good stuff of course make sure to be bold brave and beautiful and i will talk to y'all in my next video bye